how I connected it first things first I grabbed this thing called a magic NS controller adapter and I just plug it in I, I made sure that mine was on the switch pro mode which is this purple light right there now that it's working I had my controller already paired so I think that might be a good thing to do so I set this into pairing mode first then I press that side button once so they can sync up together once they stop flashing so fast, that means they're synced. Alright, it's all good. And I'll show you guys right now that it's working. I go left, I go right, and synced up. Alright, now I'm gonna turn these things off. So I, I unplug that, and then hold that for 10 seconds to shut down the control. It was just to show you guys that it was already synced and when I do connect them later on, it already knows that that's going to be plugged in. So now let's get started. First I plug in the Magic NS and next thing I start setting up my Zen. So this thing is called the Zen 4 and I'm going to show you guys how I plug that in. Now the first thing I'm going to plug in is the keyboard. And there's the keyboard wire. Yep, keyboard. And I grab it and then I place it into the zip. Good. Next thing is, oh, that keyboard almost fell right there. Next thing is, I grab the mouse. Let's see, I got the mouse. Now I'll plug that into the zip 4. Make sure those cables don't fall. And it goes there. Like so, nice. Next thing I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm not using that cable yet. So I put that away. Yeah, I did not use that cable yet. Alright, so I got this other cable. This one, I'm gonna plug it into the controller. Right. And I was trying to do a quick cable management right now, so it's not too much mess. Can't use keyboard and mouse, so there's wires all over on top of them, can you? <laughs> all right. Wow. Cable management. Okay, so this is in four. So far, we got keyboard, mouse, and a controller that is almost plugged in. I got my PS4 controller, and now I plug in the wire. There you go. I didn't turn on the controller yet. Keep that in mind. All right. Push some more wires down there. Like so. Ta-da! It's done almost. Now I can grab my other wire. So you can power up the Zen and connect it to the Magic NS on the switch. 
Oh, that control. Wow. Okay, so I'm plugging this one wire here. Nice. Now I'll go back to the magic and plug it into the USB port on it. You can start seeing the Zim flash up, it's turning on. And there. Should all be good to go. Now a little test drive. You can't see the keyboard. Wow. Alright, oh yeah, I lift it up. Nice. So let's go back up here. You can see I press left, right. You can see it's all working now. Yeah. The bonus thing is even the controller works with this. Let me check it out. Oh yeah. It's working. And that's it. One thing I forgot to mention is you can actually configure the buttons through the Zim app. So right here I have my mouse set to its maximum of 500 sensitivity. And for the buttons Come on, click it. There you go. You can see that all the buttons can be programmed to your liking. All right, and that's it, you guys.